No, I think you're okay. That's perfect. Yeah. That's maybe a little bit backwards. Backwards? Just a little bit. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, yeah right there. Good. Right. So second class today again. My dinging email that I don't know how to turn off. So <laughs> forget that. Hopefully it's not going to be too often. And as I promised, we'll do abs today, um, and we'll add cardio in there today as well. So as always. Sign in, say hi, give us a like, roll out your mats, get ready. I'm going to give you guys a minute or so here just to get comfy on your mats, get ready. Grab your water. You probably will need your water today. Um, and as always, whenever we're starting with abs, we're just going to start on your back. Just a couple of stretches here before we get going. Uh, because we're adding cardio, normally I don't stretch for this class, but because we're going to do cardio, we're going to do some plankings. I really want your back and your shoulders nicely stretched out. So whenever you're ready, come down on your mat. And... Um, so that's perfectly ready for this. Knees will come right into your chest, and you're just going to wrap your arms around your shins, press your sacrum down so that your low back is nicely connected down to the mat, and just gently tiny little baby rocks side to side, just to massage out that lower back. Just wake up your spine here, and now start to draw big circles to the right side. So just circles with your entire back to the right. You can keep your hands on your knees, or you can keep your hands and your arms wrapped wrap around your shins. A couple more. And now let's switch directions over to the other side, to the left. Focus on your breathing here. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale one more time. Now knees come back to center. Feel your head and the shoulders of the mat. Try to bring your nose in between your knees. Give yourself a really nice tight squeeze. Squeeze into a super tight, 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 tight ball. As you exhale, relax your head and the shoulders down to the mat. Legs will come all the way up. Grab a hold behind your thighs and just point and touch your toes up and down a couple of times. Point flex. Point flex. Point flex. And now flex your feet so your heels go up towards the ceiling. Point your toes towards your nose. You can hold behind your thighs, calves, or if you can, reach for your big toes. And I want you to inhale, create that leg, send your heels up towards the ceiling. Exhale, draw your thighs closer and closer towards the chest. And again, inhale, heels up. And exhale, thighs closer towards the chest. One more time, inhale, heels go up. And then as you exhale, happy baby. Bend into your knees, reach for the outsides of your feet. If that's too much, reach for the insides of your feet, your toes, ankles, or even behind your knees. Again, you're pressing your sacrum down, keeping your head and the shoulders relaxed a couple more times. Little baby rocks side to side whenever you're ready. Come back to neutral. Once again, knees into the chest, forehead to meet your knees. Hug it in and crush your ankles, roll forward. Line up your tabletops, shoulders, elbows, wrists in one straight line, hips directly over your knees, shoulders, elbows, wrists in one straight line, and expect fingers parallel to each other, inhale, dip belly down, tailbone up, maybe gaze up, and exhale, round your spine, press those hands into your mat, and push that mat away from you, lift. And again, inhale, belly down, little lower, elbow goes up, up. Exhale, round your back, press those hands into your mat and push away. Again, inhale, belly dips, lower, 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 tilt that tailbone up. And exhale, round your back and push away. Right. Almost there, one more time, inhale, up. Nice deep exhale, cat. Come back to neutral line up, straight line from the crown of the head all the way towards the tailbone, right arm up for thread the needle. Shoulders, elbows, wrists in one straight line. Hold here for a moment. 
as you exhale, thread that right hand underneath your left shoulder, connect your right shoulder and your right ear down to the mat. Keep that right knee underneath your right hip exactly as it is. Left arm floats up, engage your core, belly button right into your spine, kick that left leg straight up. Yep, all the way up towards the ceiling. Higher, higher, one more time, slowly with control, step that left foot in front of your right hand. And once you got it, start to roll over to the back of your head gently, slowly, mindfully, carefully. And relax your left hand, your arm, your shoulder down towards the mat behind you. It doesn't have to go anywhere near it. Just allow it to fall down. Focus on your breathing here. Relax. Breathe into your low back. Breathe into that neck. And then back to neutral. Line up your cables again. Other side, left arm straight up. Gaze follow, stack your joints. Gaze follow the left hand, hold. As you exhale, left shoulder, left ear down to the mat. Right arm all the way up. Engage your core. Keep your left knee as it is. Take a deep breath in and right leg lifts. That's it. Lift it straight up. Keep working that glute. Keep your core engaged. It's your abs that are holding you steady and balanced. Slowly with control, step that right foot in front of your left hand. And once you've got it, see if you can bring it flat in front of that hand. And then start to gently roll over onto the back of your head, allowing that right arm and your right shoulder, your right hand to fall down towards the mat behind you. Again, remember, no forcing anything ever. See if you can re ground that right foot so it's flat on the floor in front of your hand, yes. You'll feel a deeper stretch along the lower back, yes. One more inhale here. As you exhale back into your tabletop, and downward facing dog. I took my wrong All right. So let's start with a little bit of cardio here. And I want you to shift forward into a plank. Plan at the planks, so make sure. Then you have your shoulders over, elbows, elbows over wrists, and then send your turn at each other. Your butt's not sticking up, your belly's not falling down. You're going to go for one minute here. All you're going to do is jump your feet forward to the outside of your mat on the right hand side, as far forward as you can to the right. Yeah. Nope, to the yeah. Right. That's it. Jump back. Jump to the left. Jump back. Jump forward, straight forward, and then back. All right, and that's how it's gonna go. Ready? Let's go. Jump to the right, jump back, jump to the left, jump back, jump forward, jump back. Let's go. Right, back, left, back, forward, back, right, back, left, back, forward, back, right, back, left, back, forward, back. Focus on the breath, keep going, left, back, forward, back. Yeah, you've got 30 more seconds, left, back, forward, back, right side, back, left side, back, forward, back, let's go, let's go, let's go, right, back, left, back, forward, back, almost there, 15 seconds, right, back, left, back, forward, back, 10 to go, come on, right, back, left, back, Forward, back, you're done. Downward facing dog. Awesome work. Awesome work. Okay. Look in between your hands. Bend into your knees. Come up high on your feet. Jump right through. Come right on your mat. On your back. All right. On your back here. Make yourself comfy. Bend into your knees. Happy your feet just over the mat. Hands to the back of your head. You're going to have those feet just about an inch off the mat. Hands to the back of your head. Orange underneath your chin so chin doesn't come into your chest. Stick between the elbows so elbows don't come in together. Ready? Let's go. And exhale. 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 So we're going to go a little bit faster with those crunches today. We're going four times. So normally I say inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. But you're inhaling when you're pausing, exhaling when you're moving. 
So I want you to do the same thing, but double the speed. So exhale up, exhale up, exhale up. Inhale on the way down. And let's go. Exhale, 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 exhale. If you were to point your toes, I want your toes to actually tap the mat, all right? And then, so that's that's the way you know you check if your feet are at the proper level. So not too high. Keep going. Exhale up. Exhale up. Exhale up. Exhale up. Exhale up. Keep crunching. Keep going. Breathe. You've got 10 seconds to go. And you're done. Give yourself a hug. Give yourself a squeeze. Take a little bit of a hug. And now you're going to bend your knees to nine degrees. All right. We're going to lift your head and the shoulders off the mat. All right. You're going to extend that right leg so it's nice and straight. And then come up, pluck it is behind that left thigh. Inhale on the way down. Exhale up other side. Inhale on the way down. Exhale up. Inhale on the way down. Exhale up and clap. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So I want you to control this. All right. You're meeting halfway. All right. So your upper body comes up. Your knees stay over your hips, so always at 90. Exhale, clap, that's it, inhale down. Don't come up too high, but also don't leave your upper body behind, so you wanna come up. Exhale up, clap, exhale up, clap, beautiful, keep going. Exhale up, engage your core, make sure you've got that imprint, belly button right into your mat. Exhale up and little clap, exhale up and little clap, beautiful, keep going, keep going, keep going. Exhale up, little clap. A lot of lower abs here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale on the way down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. You're inhaling through your nose. Exhaling through your mouth. Make sure you're breathing. Deep breath in. Inhale through your nose. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale lift. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Ten more seconds. Come on. Inhale. Exhale. Up. That's it. Three, two, and you're done. Hug it in. Give yourself a hug. Give yourself a nice squeeze. All right, the next one. Again, it is upper, it is lower abs. So for this one, I want you to bring your right arm along top of your left knee, left leg straight up. And let the shoulders off the mat. You can keep your arms along the side of your body, palms facing down. Or if you have to, especially if you've got something going on in your lower back, you can keep your hands underneath your bar for this one. And all I want you to do, lift your leg, drop it off the mat, keep it up, leg lift. So drop the left leg down. As you come up, hip raise. Inhale down, lower that leg. Exhale, hip raise. Lower down that leg. Exhale, hip raise. Beautiful. Inhale, lower down. Exhale into a hip raise and you keep going. Exhale up. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you lift. Inhale down. Exhale up. Beautiful. Inhale down. Lower the leg. Exhale. Lift. Inhale down. Exhale as you lift. Beautiful. Keep your core engaged. Halfway through 30 more seconds and then we'll switch side. We'll do the other side. Keep going. Breathe. Exhale and lift. So don't worry about lifting those hips up as high as Stella does. Tiny little bit is enough. As long as, again, you're not using your neck, you're not using that momentum. I don't want you to use the momentum. Just use your abs, use your exhale. 10 seconds to go. Almost there. And last five. Three. And you're done. Okay, hug it in, give yourself a squeeze, and we'll switch sides. So your left ankle. 
comes on top of your right knee, right leg will go straight up, head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Again, you can squeeze your hands underneath your bum to protect that low back, or keep your arms along the side of your body, palms facing up or down, doesn't matter, just don't press your hands into the mat if they're along the side of your body. Take a deep breath in, head, neck, and shoulders off the mat, and now exhale, lower that left leg, and back up, hip raise, inhale. Exhale, hip raise, inhale down. Exhale, hip raise, inhale down. Exhale, hip raise, that's it. And keep going. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Use your breath, control your breathing. Exhale up, inhale on the way down. Exhale up. And you are halfway through this side right now. That's it. Last quarter. Almost there. Five, three, and you're done with this one. Give yourself a hug, give yourself a squeeze, and then whenever you're ready, make your way right into your tabletops again. We're coming in a couple of more cat cows just to stretch out your abs, give your lower back a nice stretch on the back bend as well. Line up your joints. Inhale, dip belly down a little bit lower than the time before tailbone lifts up a little bit higher. Maybe you can look up the side and exhale round your back. Press the center to your mat and push that mat away from you. Lift. Inhale, dip belly down a little bit lower. Exhale round. Two more. Inhale, dip belly down a little lower. Exhale round. And one more time, inhale, and exhale. Come back to a nice neutral spine. Curl your toes under, press yourself up into a downward facing dog. We're just going to take a quick dolphin here. Forearms and elbows down to the mat just to stretch out everything posterior. So you get a beautiful stretch here from the neck, up your spine towards the tailbone and from there all the way down toward your heels. Try to keep your legs nice and straight, just never lock your knees with each and every inhale, step your feet just a little bit closer towards your elbows and with each and every exhale, squeeze those heels down towards the mat. And again, inhale, baby, step forward. Exhale, heels press down towards the mat. Again, inhale, baby, step forward. Exhale, press those heels down, 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 down. Keep pushing through your arms, through your elbows. Keep lifting that tailbone up and back. And then as you exhale, press yourself right back up and to your downward facing dog. Two minutes of cardio here again. You're going 30, uh, sorry, one minute for mountain climbers, one minute for oblique mountain climbers, but you're doing them two together. I want you to really work your knees towards your elbows or even further past your elbows. Ready, shift forward into a plank. Keep your core engaged, belly button right through your spine, beautiful straight line, chin up, look forward right in front of your mat. Ready, let's go. And go, that's it. Keep your lower abs, core is engaged here. Exhale, exhale. In through your nose, out through your mouth. And of course, if it gets tough and you need to slow it down, that's fine. But bring those knees as close to those elbows as possible. That's it. Focus on the breathing. 20 seconds and 40 to go. Control your breath. Knees closer towards those elbows. Keep your core tight. Let's slow it down if you have to and then pick it right back up. All right, last quarter, that's 45 seconds in. Breathe. You've got this, keep going. One minute down, crisscross, let's go. Quick downward dog if you need one, yes. And then crisscross, let's go. Crisscross, crisscross. Again, drive those knees right into your elbows. Quarter of the way in. And you are 
halfway through right now. That's a minute and a half, 30 seconds to go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Last quarter, guys. You're doing awesome. Take a quick break if you need one, and then right back into it. Almost at 10. And five. Three, two, one. Downward facing dog. Come up on your tippy toes, nice and high heels up. Look in between your hands. Jump right through. Roll on your mat, on your back. All right, so this time you're going hip raises. Then we're going to do corkscrews to the right, back to hip raises, but this time to standing with a little hop if you can. Back to corkscrews on the left, and then final one will be hip raises to stand, not to stand, but to plank. Chaturanga back up to plank, back to hip raises. All right, so you've got one, two, three, four, five minutes to go here. All right. So for this one again, just like the leg lifts with the leg crossed over, same thing. I don't want you to use your neck, you don't use the momentum, use your abs, use your breath. If one minute is too, is too much, you go for 30 seconds or 15 seconds, give yourself a squeeze and then get right back into it. You can take as many breaks, as many squeezes as you need, but as short as possible and right back into it. Ready? Arms on the side of your body, palms facing up so you're not using your hands. Head, neck, and shoulders completely relaxed. You're going to bend your knees, bring your knees right into the chest, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, lift those hips up. Doesn't matter how high, as long as you're using your arms. And exhale. Yep, gentle, no, just regular. You cut that just in the center. Let's go. Exhale up. Inhale on the way down. Exhale up. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Inhale. With the breath, exhale up. Inhale. Exhale up. Inhale. Exhale on the way up. And excellent. Don't worry about those hips lifting up too high. As long as you're not cheating with your neck on your or your arms or the momentum, then you're okay. Slow it down if you have to, but just use your abs to shoot those legs up. Deep breaths here. Last quarter, 15 more seconds, and we're going to court screws on the right in about 10 seconds. Exhale up. Exhale. Exhale. Inhale on the way down. Ready? Court screws to the right. So you're lifting up, twist to the right, back to center, down. Up, right, center, down, up, right, center, down, up, right, center, down. Keep breathing, keep controlling it. And I know when you come back to center, your hips want to come all the way back down. I know. Control it. Try to stay up a little bit longer. Up, right, center, down, up, right, center, down, and up. Twist, center, and back down. Keep going, back down, up, twist to the right, back to center, back down, almost there, almost there. 15 more seconds, and then we're going to go into those hip raises to standing. You can always add a little hop if you wish. Back down, up, twist to the right, back to center, and back down, five. So let's do one more, up, twist, back down, and now back to hip raises, So we're going to come Straight up to standing little hop if you wish. One minute. You should get about 16 of those in. Ready? Head, neck, and shoulders relax. Arms on one side of your body, palms facing up. Deep breath in, and let's go. Exhale, hip raise. Roll. Up. Little hop if you wish. Inhale on the way down. Exhale, hip raise. Inhale, roll. Exhale up, little hop. Inhale. Exhale, hip raise. Inhale. Exhale up, little hop. Inhale as you roll down. Exhale, hip raise. Inhale as you roll forward. Exhale up, hop. Inhale down. Exhale, hip raise. Inhale, roll. Exhale up. That's it. With the breath. Focus. Check what's happening in your head. I know that when we're doing a long sequence like that, repetitive, it gets boring. And you feel like, oh my God, how much longer is this going to go on for? But I'll tell you how much longer. About two and a half minutes. Inhale on the way down. Exhale, hip raise. Inhale, roll up. Little hop if you can. Down. Exhale, hip raise. Roll and back up. Inhale. Exhale, hip raise. Ten more seconds. So at least a couple more. 
All right, one more time. And then corkscrew to the left. All right, so on your mat, on your back. Quick, rock side to side if you need to release that lower back. Get ready. And let's go. Excellent. Press. Twist to the left. Back to neutral and back down. Up. Twist. Center. Down. Up. Twist. Center and back down. Up. Twist. Center. Down. That's it. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Control your breathing. That's it. Up. Twist. Center. Back down. Up. Twist. Center and down, up, twist, center and down, halfway through corkscrews, and there's no more corkscrews after this. All you have to get through is another 25 seconds. You've got this, guys. Don't talk yourself out of it. Take a rest if you need one. Take more than one, but get right back into it. Up, left, center, down, up, twist, center, down, less than a quarter to go, and back down, up, twist, Center, down one more time, up, twist, center. I'll give you guys 15 seconds rest here, rock side to side if you need to because we're going into the hip raises and then you're rolling forward, coming into a plank, you're rolling, uh, coming down into a chaturanga. Use your knees if you need to modify and then right back up. Ready? Let's go. Exhale, hip raise, roll forward, jump to plank, chaturanga. Press back up, jump right through. Hip raise, roll. Jump to plank, lower, press up, jump through. Stella, you might not need the plank. So see if you can skip the plank, jump right into a chaturanga. Back up plank, now jump through. Hip raise, roll, chaturanga. Back up to plank, jump through. Hip raise, roll, chaturanga. Skip the plank if you can. Back up, jump through. Hip raise, roll. Keep your core engaged. Yes, I know I'm giving you shoulders. Yes, I know I'm giving you cardio. But you're still working a tons of abs here. Jump. Hip raise. Roll. Plank or chaturanga. Back up to plank. Jump through. Hip raise. Roll. Jump. Back up. Jump through. Almost there. Ten more seconds. Come on. Jump. Lower down. Push back up. Jump through. Hip raise. Roll. Chaturanga, back up to plank, jump through, you're done. Happy baby, or rock side to side. Awesome work. Wow. Right. Wow, what a blessing. <laughs> you're well done yourself, Wendy. Oh my God. This is something else. All right, normally, normally we're just crunching here, so we don't get as much cardio, but this time I'm thinking, ah, let's just do something different. Uh, I get all these pictures of ladies when, you know, they, they want their six packs, so this, this will do it. All right, so we're coming into another sequence, tough sequence, but up into a, uh, so let's come back into a tabletop here for a moment again. Stretch out before we start. So again, your hips over your knees, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, belly down a little bit lower. Elbow up, look up. And exhale, round your spine. Two more times, inhale, down. Exhale, cut. And one more time, inhale, dip that belly. Exhale, round your back. Come back into a nice neutral spine. Right leg comes up to hip height. Flex that right foot. Cross your right leg all the way over towards the left hand side. Drop your toes down to the mat. Look over that left shoulder towards your right heel so that you feel a really nice side body stretch on the right hand side. Push that heel backwards. Come back to center. Back into your tabletop. Other side, left leg up. Flex that foot, cross that left leg all the way over towards the right hand side. Drop your toes down to the mat. Look over that right shoulder towards that left heel. Push that left heel backwards. You should feel a little bit of a crunch on the right and a beautiful stretch all along that left hand side. Back to center, back into your tabletop. Okay, so this is going to be, and we actually got to about 11 minutes when we were in classes, but I'm not going to do this. I'm only going to do about six and a half minutes. All you're doing is rotating between planks and side planks, 30 seconds each. Ready? Press yourself up into a downward facing dog. The, everything you've done before, it's just that holding it together at the same time for six and a half minutes, it gets a little, 
it gets a little tough, but we'll breathe through it. And then eventually we'll get to the 11 minutes again. Shift forward into a plank. And the first thing, all you're doing is you're just holding that plank for 30 seconds. That's all you're doing. Make sure you've got your shoulders over elbows, elbows over wrists, heels over toes. Bum in line with your shoulders, with your heels. So again, you don't want that belly to dip. You don't want your bum sticking out. You want to keep your chin so that you're looking in front of your mat. So don't tuck your chin into your chest. Hold it here and side plank on the right hand side. So rotate onto the outside of that right foot, top arm up. Let's add that stretch here. Beautiful. Top arm up over your head, palm facing down. Reach. And of course, top leg up to the height. Pulse that left leg up and down. Keep going, keep breathing, keep your core engaged. That's it. If you have to modify, all you're doing is you modify your side planks and you're holding. Those side planks will get you really strong and you actually get to like them. Back into your plank. All right, right leg up, pulse up and down. Five more seconds. And rotate onto the outside of that left foot side. Click on the left hand side again. Add a stretch first. Top arm up over your head, palm facing down, fingertips reach. And then you can float that right leg up and then you can pulse that right leg up and down. Fifteen more seconds. Keep your core tight. Belly up and right. Key is fine. Again, remember, control your breath here. Pilates breath will help in through your nose, out through your mouth. Come back into your plank. Left leg up to hip height, pulse that left leg up and down, go. Breathe. Watch your alignment. Keep your chin up, look in front of your hands. Right side plank, rotate. Top arm up. Bring that hand to the back of your head. Bring that top foot in front of your lower foot. Lower knee top elbow together. Inhale, exhale, let's go. Crunch. Exhale. Some of you have enough strength, enough balance that that right foot doesn't even have to touch the floor or the mat. Keep Floating it over the mat, crunch, 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 that's it. Come back into your plank, plank jacks, slowly, okay, you control it, jump your feet to the outsides of your mat, jump them back in, let's go, 30 seconds, actually 20. Exhale, 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 light on your toes, again, core is engaged. Breathe. You've got this, guys. Come on. Keep going. Ten more seconds. And side plank on the left hand side again. Take it into a fallen star. Your right foot comes in front of your left foot. Right hand to the back of your head. Keep that right leg straight. Right foot flat. Lower knee top. Elbow together. Inhale. Exhale. 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 And again, if you can, that left foot just floats off the mat. Doesn't have to touch. Exhale. Crunch. That right elbow comes all the way up when you extend. That's it. Exhale. And then bring it in. Try to give it a tap. So that elbow taps the, that taps the knee. Come back into your planks. Keep your core tight. All right. Hold your planks. Lower down into a low plank. Right hip, left hip, let's go. Right hip down to the mat, left hip down to the mat. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. That's a tap, 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 tap. Keep going. And back up into your high plank. Right side plank. Rotate. Left foot in front of your right foot. Or you can stack your feet if you have enough balance. Hip dips, let's go. Dip and up, dip and up, dip and up, dip up. That's it. Five 
Five more seconds. You got this. Couple more times. Couple more times. Lift those hips up. Back into your planks. Plank up. Right forearm down. Left forearm down. Right one up. Left one up. And let's go. Lower, lower. Up, up. Lower, lower. Up, up. Starting on the right. So right one down. Left one down. Right one up. Left one up. Down, down. Up, up. Keep your core engaged. Down, down. Up, up. Lower, lower. Up, up. Lower, lower. Up, up. Five more seconds. Up, up. Lower, lower. Up, up. You're going to finish the side plank on the left hand side. Rotate onto the outside of that left foot. Stack your feet or right foot in front of your left one. Hip dips. Dip your hips down and press up. Dip, up. Dip, up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Dip and lift. Keep moving, keep going. You can always modify. You can always drop that forearm and elbow down to the mat. But don't drop that lower knee because then you won't be able to dip those hips. Almost there. Seven seconds. And five, three, two. Come back into your planks. Other side. Left forearm down. Right one down. Left one up. Right one up. Let's go. Lower, lower. Up, up. Down, down. Up, up. Keep breathing. Keep a straight line. If you absolutely have to, then yes, drop your knees. Just keep moving. Lower, lower, up, up, lower, lower, up, up. Keep going. Five more seconds. And back up. Right back up. Right side plank. All right. Right side plank. Last one. Let's do the last one on the right side. Left foot in front of your right foot. Or again, second feet now. Lift those hips up as high as they will go up. Neutral. Up. So don't worry about how fast you're going. I want as high as possible control and neutral. Don't dip. Up. Neutral. Up. Neutral. Up. Neutral. Almost there. Five more seconds. Come back into a plank. Lower down into a low plank. Circles to the right with your entire body. Keep a straight line. Big circles. That's it. This is your last low plank here. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll do the other side, side plank, and then you're done with that. But I want you to now switch directions of the circles. So you're actually doing a double. So 30 seconds, you're going for a minute. That's a breathe. All you gotta get through is another 10 seconds and then the final side plank. Five, three, rest yourself right back up. Last final side plank on the left hand side. Again, stack your feet or right foot in front of your left foot. You can drop your forearm and elbow down to the mat if you need to modify. Hips up, neutral. Ah, neutral. So you want to lift them as high as they will go and then back to center again. Control it with your abs. Don't let those hips dip down. Up, neutral. Up, neutral. Up, neutral. Couple more, couple more. Up, neutral. Final one. And downward facing dog down to the mat. And quick child's pose or child's stretch. Grab your water wipe down, whatever you need. And then whenever you're ready, you're going to roll on your mat, on your back. And we're coming into our bananas eagle sequence. <laughs> so, starting with 20 bananas. Again, orange under your chin. Hands can stay on top of your thighs if you are stronger in your abs. If you need your hands, along the side of your body, that's okay. But again, try not to press too much, not to put too much pressure, and not, don't press your hands into the mat. And if you absolutely have to, then yes, thumbs underneath that lower back, underneath your bum. You're going to lift your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. You're going to lift your legs off the mat, just a tiny little bit, okay? I want that imprint. So your lower back is nicely imprinted on, on, <clears throat> onto the mat. Deep breath in, imagine that banana on your kitchen counter, and all you're doing is giving it a baby rock, using your abs, using your exhale. Ready, let's go, 20, exhale up, exhale up, exhale up, exhale on the way up, you're five in, inhale down. <laughs> Shh. 
All right, that's 10, 10 to go. And exhale, 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 exhale. This is 15, last five. Let's go for five, four, three, two. And you can take a quick squeeze or a quick happy baby rock side to side if you need to. And then we're coming into 50 eagles on the right hand side, right there on top of your left thigh. Wrap your right foot underneath and around that left calf so your right toes end up on the inside of your left ankle. If it doesn't happen, keep your right thigh over your left one. Right arm up, left one under and around. Eagle arms, wrap your arms around, hands together to touch. Deep breath in through your nose as you exhale, elbows and knees together to touch. Your head, the control, just come off the mat. And then inhale on the way down, left toes, right fingertips, stop the mat. We're going one per second. If it's too fast, slow it down, go at your own pace. Ready, let's go. Exhale, exhale. Exhale, exhale, you're at five, and lift, 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 this is 10, and exhale, 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 15 in, and lift, 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 20, and exhale, 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 halfway through, and lift, 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 this is 30, and exhale, 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 35, and lift, lift, last 10, 9, 8, you've got this guys, come on, and 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, hug, squeeze, happy baby, rock, whatever feels good for you and your low back right now. Bananas for the count of 30, legs straight, feet together, point your toes, lift your neck and shoulders off the mat, lift your legs off the mat. Tiny little baby rock. If it's too much to go for 30 at the same time, you do as many as you can, squeeze right back into it. Lift, get ready, deep breath in, keep your core engaged, keep that imprint with the breath, let's go. Exhale, 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 this is five, and lift, 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 you're at 10, and exhale. Exhale, 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 halfway through, and lift, 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 lift. All you have to get through is another 10, 9, 8, 7, breathe, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, hug, almost there. 50 goes on the other side, 40 bananas, you're done with that sequence. Ready, other side, left thigh will cross over your right thigh and see if you can slide that left foot underneath and around that left calf. So you're, again, left, the right one. So your left toes end up on the inside of your right ankle. You might have to use your hands to kind of push it under and around or keep your left thigh over your right one. Left arm up, right one under and around, arms around, wrap them around, bring your hands together to touch, deep breath in through your nose as you exhale through your mouth, lift. Head, neck, and shoulders off the mat, elbows and knees together to touch. Inhale all the way down, right toes, left fingertips, tap the mat, try to come into a full extension, ready, 50, and let's go. Exhale, 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 you're at five, and lift, 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 this is 10, and exhale, 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 15 in, and lift, 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 this is 20, and exhale, 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 halfway through. Lift, 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 lift. This is 30. Keep going, keep moving, keep breathing. You are 35 right now. 15 to go. That's all you have to get through. 12. Last 10. And 7. Don't give up on last 5. 3. Two and one, you're done with eagles. One more final set of bananas. Again, break it up into tens or into fives if you need to. We're going for 40. So 90 bananas in total. All right, towel underneath your back. If your back starts to bother you, you might need a, a more of a cushion. So whether it's a towel or a blanket or something underneath your lower back, um, it does happen that sometimes you scrape the skin of your back. I know yes. that, right? <laughs> depending on your mat, depending on how, how thick it is. All right, one last one. Head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Lift your feet off the mat, toes together. Take a deep breath in here, and let's go. Final set of bananas, 40. Exhale, 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 
five in and lift, 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 lift. This is ten. So quarter of the way in, exhale, 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 exhale. Fifteen and lift, lift. Yep, you got this halfway through. Last twenty. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Exhale, all right, 25, hug it in if you need to, and then we are right back into it, five, three, two, all right, that's 30, last 10, exhale. All right, and five to go, lift, 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 two more, exhale up, last one, and you're done with bananas. All right. One more sequence, just a little bit of cardio, and then sitting up, final sequence, and you're all done. Also more guys, keep going, get through this, not much more to go. So whenever you're ready, you can either get right back into your tabletop, do a couple of cat cows, or, or make your way right up into a downward dog, whichever one feels good. We're gonna do a couple of cat cows here just to stretch it out one more time. Inhale, belly down, and exhale, round your back. Inhale, the belly down. Start to press your thighs and your thighs closer and closer together so that belly sinks down just a little bit lower and you get a deeper back bend. Exhale, round. This time, press your, your arms, your triceps, and your thighs away from each other. Again, not much to see, but you'll really feel a much deeper arch here. One more time. Inhale, dip. And exhale, round. Come back to neutral. Press yourself right back up into a downward facing dog. For this one, I want you to open up your hips here. So let's bring your feet together to touch. Right leg kicks up into a three-legged dog. Bend into your right knee. Open up your right hip. And just stack your right hip over your left one. Keep your left leg straight. Again, as always, equal amount of your weight through both hands. So don't just dump all that weight into your left hand, middle leg, just over your right there. Open, 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 open a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Gaze underneath that right armpit. Add that twist here. That hip will open a little bit more. Back to neutral. Release. Same thing on the side. Feet together first. Left leg kicks up. And then whenever you're ready, bend into that left knee. And again, you're bending that knee, stacking your left hip over your right one. Left knee is the highest point of your body, right leg straight. Middle of your chest lines up over that right thigh. And now let's open up even more. Equal amount of weight through both hands. Then these underneath that left armpit. Back to neutral and release. Shift forward into your planks. Right foot steps to the outside of your right hand. Light, light, light on your toes. We're going to go for 30 seconds. And then we'll switch sides. Left foot to the outside of your left hand. And then Starting on the left for another 30 seconds. So you all you have to get through is a minute. Like so yeah, so first you're switching, we're starting on the right, then we'll take a downward dog, and then we'll do it 30 seconds on the left. Ready? Deep breath in and let's go. Switch, 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 switch. Try to stay as light on your toes as you can so your core is still working, your shoulders are still working. Keep looking forward just slightly in front of your hands. And you are halfway through here. Breathe. Ten more seconds. And of course, if you can, pick up the pace. Switch, 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 switch. Five seconds. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Finish strong and quick downward facing dog. We'll do it one more time for 30 seconds, starting on the left. Shift forward. Left foot to the outside of your left hand. Light, light, light on your toes. Keep your core engaged. Ready? And let's go. Switch, 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 switch. All right. And you're already 10 seconds in, 20 to go. Of course, if you can, again, pick up the pace. <clears throat> if you have to slow it down, slow it down. Whatever you need to do, you do. Keep going. All you can get through is another 10 seconds. Let's go. Almost there, seven, and five, three, and you're done. Awesome work. You're going to sit down on your mats, on your bum. Coming into your boat. Nothing crazy here. You've done it a million times before. We're just going to hold the boat up 
for 15, halfway 15, half or 15, and then 10s and 5s. That's it. That's all you gotta get through. All right, so find your sit bones on your tailbone. Find that triangle shape so you can ground through. Bend your knees, keep flat on the mat, and now you're bringing your hands on top of your knees and you're going to lean back until your arms are nice and straight. And this is that perfect V shape. So when your arms are straight and your hands still over your knees, that's that perfect V shape that you want to hold as long as you can. Again, remember here, it's the hip flexors that, and nobody likes the boat except for me, uh, because of the hip flexors, okay? So once you do enough of it for, for long enough, those hip flexors will strengthen and then both will be nothing, all right? So let's lean back, straight arms. Now you can pick your position, either arms up over your head. We're not gonna be in a long boat, so if you can, arms will come up, but relax your shoulders. So still the reach the for a second, yes. So you're gonna go straight here, or arms out in front of you, or you can bring your hands behind you, but lightly, okay? So you don't sink into your shoulders, all right? You do not come down on your forearms and your elbows, all right? So light hands, they're there to support you, but I don't want you to lean on those, okay? I still want the lower abs, your hip flexors and your low back to work. Pick the position for your arms. Take a deep breath in, and legs will come up. If you can, straight up. If you have to keep a bend in the knees, that's okay. You're holding for 15 seconds. Breathe. In through your nose, out through your mouth. The worst thing that you can do here is hold your breath. Okay, so make sure you're breathing. And five. Three, two, one, lower the legs about halfway. It's up to about 45 degrees. Keep your core engaged and you're holding. That's already five. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Five more seconds. Lower the legs, half with those heels just over the mat. Point your toes, engage all the muscles in your legs that will help you keep your core engaged. Focus on your breath. Three, two, float those legs straight up, holding here for 10 seconds. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Lower halfway. Have your feet just over the mat. Straight up for five. All the way up for five, four, three, two, and one. Halfway five, four, three, two, and one. Halfway five, four, three, two, and one. Hug it in. Give yourself a squeeze. 100 Russian twists. All right, so again, legs will stay up, and I know they've already been up for a while, so this sequence will get those hip flexors stronger. Trust me on this. All right, so again, one per second. If you need to stop, you're stopping and giving yourself a squeeze and then you're getting right back into it. All right, so legs up. You can bring your shins fairly towards the mat. You can cross your ankles if you wish. If you need your heels down to the mat, super lightly, okay? Hands together, interlace your fingers. Deep breath in, ready. Tap them out on one side, tap them out on the other side. Let's go, exhale, exhale. Exhale, exhale, this is fine. Make sure you do not forget to breathe. Keep going, try to tap them at 10. Exhale, 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 15 in. Twist, 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 and exhale, 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 exhale. Quarter of the way in, keep going. You're at 30. 35, 40, 45, halfway, 55, 60. 65, 70, downhill from here, three quarters, 80, keep going, keep going, keep going, 85, 
last ten, nine, and seven. Five, you're almost there. Three, two, one, and you're done. All right, one final set to go. Yeah, last one. Again, hip flexors here, so head will come behind, but lightly. So again, don't sink into your <clears throat> onto your forearms and your elbows. Hands are behind you lightly. You're going to line up your shins parallel towards the mat. Flex your feet. All you're going to do is inhale, bring your knees right into your chest. And then as you exhale, you're going to kick. I always like to say, imagine that heavy, heavy box in front of you. So you push it as far forward as you possibly can. And then you're going to go for the count of 10. Then we're just going to roll over onto the right hip. And then again, go straight forward. So when you go on your right or left hip, I don't want that box to go to the side. You want to push it straight ahead of you. We're going to switch over to the left. And we're doing this three times for the count of 90. Of course, the last set is the toughest one. Ready? And this is it. After that, you're all done. So legs up, feet flex, take a deep breath in, knees into the chest, and then exhale, kick, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, kick, 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 one more on the right side. We'll turn over into your right side and go. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Exhale, you're at five, and five, four, three, two, and one. Over to the other side, left hip, let's go. Straight ahead, out in front of you, kick. Keep kicking, that's already three, four, and five, last five, four, three, two, and one. Back to center, ready, let's go. For the count of 10, kick, and seven, five, three, Two and one, right side and ten. Seven and five, three, two, one, left side switch. Ten, seven and five, three, back to center last time, last set of 30, let's go. Ten, don't push up, push forward. And five, four, three, two, and one. Last time on the right side, and ten. Seven, and five, three, two, one. Last time on the left for the count of ten. And seven, five, three, two, and one. Give yourself a hug, big squeeze, stay sitting up. Stay sitting up, hug it in. Knees into the chest, forehead to meet, squeeze. And then slowly, whenever you're ready, you're just going to extend your legs straight out in front of you, heels away from your toes towards your nose. Remove all that flesh from underneath your sit bones. Create that beautiful straight line from that tailbone up your spine all the way towards the crown of your head. Inhale, reach your arms up. And then exhale forward fold. Make sure you're handling at those hips. Try to reach your hands for your thighs, shins, ankles, or if you can reach, go for your toes. Keep your chin up. Inhale, crown forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, crown forward. Exhale, fold just a little bit lower. Focus on breathing right into that lower back, into your sacrum, into those glutes, into those hamstrings. One more. As you exhale, slowly come back up. Bend into your right knee, bring your right foot to the inside of your left thigh. It can stay right there. Or you can step your right foot to the outside of your left thigh. You can keep that left leg extended or you can bend it into that left knee. And then you can hug your right knee into your left elbow. Or you can bring that left elbow to the outside of your right knee. And then your right hand comes to right to the base of your spine. Inhale, set up really nice and tall. Exhale, and now twist, look over that right shoulder. Inhale, reach up, crown points up. Twist and turn over that right shoulder one more time. Inhale, extend, reach. 
Nice deep exhale, all air out, and nice, now twist just a little bit further, and then on your next exhale, come back to center, counter your twist to go with the other shoulder, and then legs out in front of you again, both legs straight out, inhale, reach up, and exhale, fold just a little bit lower this time. For those of you guys who can easily touch your feet with your hands, cross your arms, grab a hold of the feet from the outsides of your feet, so crossing your arms first, and then grab a hold of your feet from the outsides of your feet. Now inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, I want you to push your elbows away from each other. That's it. And fold just a little bit lower. Inhale, crown forwards. Come up. Exhale, fold. One more time. Deep breath in. Exhale, fold just a little bit lower. Hold it here. Push those elbows away from you. Hold and breathe. And then as you exhale, slowly come right back up. Left foot to the inside of your right thigh. You can, again, keep it there. You can cross it over to the outside. You can keep your right leg straight or you can bend at the knee. And now you can hug that left knee into your right elbow or you can bring your right elbow to the outside of your left knee, left hand to the base of your spine. Acting as a second spine. And now inhale, crown of your head reaches up. Nice deep exhale, all air out. Twist and turn, look over that left shoulder. And again, inhale up. And exhale, twist. One more time, inhale up. Nice deep exhale, twist just a little bit further. Come back to center. And both feet together. Oh, yeah, counter your twist. Sorry, forgot about that. Come back to neutral. And now, so the feet together to touch, coming into a butterfly on your elbow. So, grab a hold of your feet. Open up those feet like a book. Inhale, create that length here again. Crown your head up, sit up really nice and tall. Exhale, hinging at your hips. Start to fold forward. Use your elbows to help you push those knees down. Just encourage them down a little closer down towards the mat. Every inhale again, imagine that straight at the crown of your head, pulling you forward every exhale fold. When you can't fold any lower, just relax your head, relax your neck. Round your back. And then exhale, slowly come up. And sit however you are comfortable. Cross leg, half row to school, or just wherever you feel comfortable. Round through the simples and it's a like the tree spine, relax your shoulders away from the ears, rest your wrist on top of your knees, back and then down just slightly. Make a moment here as always at the end of the practice. Thank yourself. Thank your body for taking the time out of the day for yourself, for showing up for your practice, for rolling out your mats, for doing something so wonderful for you, mentally and physically. Let's inhale, reach your hands up. Bring your hands together and exhale right into your heart center. The light and honors and so the light in each and every one of you together we balance so. Namaste. So my guys, thank you so much for practicing. Have a fabulous afternoon. We'll see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a power Tuesday, 6 p.m. I'll post that anyways. Have Fabulous evening.